Hello boys and girls, I'm Miss Leticia. I'm sure you have seen me on Zoom in the mornings. I would like to share a story with you, um, and it's called The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. It is written by Linda Williams and illustrated by Megan Roy. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs, spices, nuts, and seeds. She walked so long, so far, that it started to get dark. There was only one, there was only a silver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And the shoes went clump, clump. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path. And behind her, she could hear two shoes going clump clump a little further on the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants and the pants went wiggle wiggle get out of my way you pair of pants i'm not afraid of you said the little old lady and she walked on but behind her she could hear what could she hear? Wiggle, wiggle. The two shoes go clump, clump. And the pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt. And the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked a little bit faster, but behind her she could hear. What could she hear? What is behind her? The two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. The gloves went clack, clack, and the hat went, nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear. Oh, behind her, what could she hear? Two shoes go clunk, clunk. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt goes shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat goes nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at a quite fast pace. She was near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went... <gasps> This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clump, clump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. She looks afraid to me. The little old lady did not look back. 
she ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock on the door. Should she answer? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? <gasps> Two pair of shoes go clump clump. One pair of pants go wiggle wiggle. One shirt go shake shake. Two gloves go clap clap. One hat go nod nod. And one scary pumpkin head go Oh, oh. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of you of this? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. Hmm. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin had nodded and his face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said, good night, closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. Hmm. The next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and looked into the garden and what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clunk clunk. One pair of pants go wiggle wiggle. One shirt go shake shake. Two gloves go clap clap. One hat go nod nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo boo. And scare all the crows away. The end. So thank you boys and girls for sharing the story with me today. I hope you get a chance to go on a YouTube page and read the story over and listen to it and read it with your parents. Um, enjoy. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.